Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lana here and today I want to talk about hair dryers. Tools like this literally have the ability to make you love or hate your hair. So it's really important to get it right, especially when they're so expensive. Let's just address the elephant in the room. I have been gone for a really long time on this channel. I'm really sorry for it, but there are two reasons. The first reason is I went to Mexico for my best friend's wedding. I was a bridesmaid and I had the best time ever and I really just wanted to take those two weeks off to recharge and chill and have fun and make memories with my best friends. The second reason why I've been gone a while is because literally the day I landed back in the UK, I got hit with COVID. So I have been recovering from COVID. Oh, and that's also why my voice sounds like this. So yeah, been gone a while, really sorry about it. Really wanna get back to posting regularly on this channel. So here I am with a little review video for you. If you guys are ready and I'm ready, let's talk about hair dryers. There is a really famous hair dryer in the curly hair community. Let me know, are you guys part of the curly hair community? Are you watching this? Do you have straight hair? Let me know, drop it in the comment section. There is one standalone superstar for hair dryers and that is the Dyson Supersonic. You might recognize her more with her diffuser attachment. So there's that, there's a diffuser and I use this hair dryer all the time. Ever since I got my hands on this, I have been a diffuser girl. Like I used to be an air dry girl through and through. I actually air dried my hair recently actually and it was a really, really good wash and go. So no hate to air drying, it's really great. But I just love diffusing. It's so quick, it's so easy. I get a perfect result every time. However, this video is not about this hair dry. Like she's had her time in the spotlight. There's a new bitch on the block. This is the Zuby halo hair dryer it sort of feels like when you buy apple products right like when you buy a new macbook and it's all just just very smooth and sleek and minimalist this is the hair dryer guys it's so beautiful also let me know in the comment section do you call them hair dryers or blow dryers so it has kind of like this faux leather grippy material around the handle it's pure white apart from around here we've got silver over here we've got silver and bam right there there's a mirror this is going to transform in a minute and i'll show you what i mean that's what i mean So I don't know if you could see what was going on just then, but this part lights up, it's really cool. I don't know if it changes the function of what's happening or whether it's just something really pretty. So it comes with this nozzle that you put on and this is if you want like a really targeted blow dry, you wanna like straighten your hair with this or you just want something really sleek and smooth. And it comes with diffuser attachment. For us curly girls now it looks suddenly very familiar. We've got the Dyson Supersonic over here and we've got the Zuvi Halo over here. Battle of the hair dryers is about to commence. I think for a lot of you, this is probably gonna be the first time that you've seen the Zuvi Halo hair dryer. So I just wanna read you some of the stats, the specs, the reviews that this has had. This has nature inspired light care technology. Their patented light care technology that accelerates the process while keeping your hair hydrated and healthy. So I think that's why they have that light. The light actually helps to dry your hair quicker. So they say, unlike traditional hair dryers that use extreme heat wind to bake your hair, the Zuvi Halo uses light energy to quickly dry the hair on the surface of your hair while leaving the inside hydrated and healthy. Okay, so I'm liking the sound of that. So a lot of hair dryers will just throw wind at your hair, throw it through your hair. It can be very forceful and sometimes it does feel like it's really just taking all of the moisture out of your hair. Whereas this says that it's really just gonna focus on the surface, taking the water off the surface and leaving the moisture inside the hair intact. Let's hope it works. It's also a sustainable hair dryer. Julie Halo uses 60% less energy than your old hair dryer. When they say old hair dryer, they might mean like a really bulk standard hair dryer. As far as I know, the Dyson technology is like way up there. So I'd be interested to see what they think in comparison to the, to the Dyson. So with the Dyson, the way that they avoid their extreme heat is that they measure the temperature 40 times per second to make sure that the heat is regulated and that it never goes above a certain temperature to avoid damaging the hair. Dyson technology is also 
way up there. There are some things that I absolutely love about the Dyson, which I can already see straight away that the Zubi doesn't have. For example, on the Dyson, it has power controls and temperature controls and a cold shot as well. So on the power controls, you can control the airflow. And I think there's three or four settings and the same for the temperature. So you can have it on low, heat and low power, which is what I generally do for my curly hair. Whereas on the Zuvi, I can see that it doesn't have that. Instead of having these different heat and power controls, what it has instead is these other settings like care, fast, soft and style. Care setting optimizes your hair health while maintaining fast drying speeds. The fast mode optimizes for drying speed while leaving your hair healthy. The soft mode smooths airflow for less light for those with sensitive scalps. And the style mode is used only with the styling accessories such as the smoother. And if you're gonna use the diffuser attachment, they recommend that you use it with the fast setting. And it weighs just a little bit less than this one as well. So if you do sometimes feel like this is a bit too heavy, I've never had an issue with it, but you know, the lighter the better. This is about 700 grams. This is about 500 grams. It might make a difference when you're packing your suitcases and whatnot. So yeah, light, slightly more lightweight, this one. So the Dyson Supersonic, on the Dyson UK website is $329.99. The Zuvi Halo Hairdryer is $330. So they are pretty much the exact same price. Competing technologies, equal price. Let's see how they actually perform. I'm back and my hair has been freshly washed and styled. I used the Pacifica Pineapple Curls Curl Cream and the Flora and Curl Curl Defining Gel. And I used the Deep Demo Brush and I just scratched my hair. So hopefully my hair is gonna look really defined regardless. But these hair dryers definitely have the potential to shake things up a little bit. So on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and dry my hair. When I switch on, there's gonna be three lights this side and there's gonna be three lights this side and this is the strength like the power of the air and this is the heat of the air so when I do my hair my curly hair and I'm using the diffuser I want to use as low heat as possible so that I don't damage my hair and I also want to use as least amount of power as possible because I don't want to blow out all of the curls you definitely get like a lot of a softer power from using the diffuser that's what the diffuser does it diffuses the air um, but I just like to make sure that I'm doing it right just by using that. Okay, so I've been drying my hair on this side for about 10 to 15 minutes. And actually it's like messed with my ear. So like <laughs> all my balance is weird right now. So now I'm gonna do this side. I know you can even tell the difference. Like this side is quite a lot drier than this drier. It's not 100% dry. Um, with this one, we are going to use the diffuser attachment. I'm gonna have it on the fast setting, which is the one it recommends. And away we go. Like there's no denying it. You can see it's got some more volume in it. It feels drier. There are some pieces that I can see that are actually like fully dry. Whereas this one is, I mean, you could see it's, you could see it's just not as dry. I'm not saying yet that this is better than the Dyson, but I do feel like my hair is getting drier quicker with this one. There are just another couple of things that I noticed and that's just like when you're holding it, I don't know if it's just like, you could hold it like this, but I feel like it's just natural to kind of just like let the bulb of it like rest on your hand like this. And when you're doing that, you accidentally press the buttons. So I did find that like I would check and it would be like on the wrong setting. Like that happened like three or four times already. And that's obviously not great if you want it on a specific setting. And you are gonna be sitting here for a while, so I do just feel like it's quite natural that this would just like kind of slide up like this and you would just end up pressing it. Whereas the thing on the Dyson, you don't really get that problem because this is the only button that's, well, there's the cold setting here, but like it's quite hard to press in. Whereas this button is like a bit more sensitive, so like, it does just like react to that little touch a bit more. You're not gonna accidentally turn it off and you're definitely not gonna accidentally change the settings because they're up here. The only thing that you might accidentally do with the Dyson is put it on a cool spritz, which you would very quickly notice because it would suddenly start coming out cold. And also another thing I noticed is that if you are just, I mean, you kind of just have to rely on the different modes that they've set out for you. So they did recommend that for diffusing curly hair, they've said the fast mode. And that means that I'm not really sure how 
fast the air is coming out or how hot the air is. When it first started, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely cooler than the Dyson. But then as we went along, I did feel like it was heating up. And I just wonder, is the temperature control as sensitive as with the Dyson? And you know, what temperatures are we reaching? I don't know. Cause I feel like it's all well and good to say that it's getting my hair drier quicker. But of course it would if it's hotter. Like I could put this onto a hotter setting and my hair would get drier quicker, which means it's not really a fair fight in a way. I mean, I could try and use them both at the same time, but you know, we might have like a hair dryer freak out. Three, okay, two. let's go. Are you Okay, first thing I notice when I'm using both at the same time, this one is definitely hotter. So that makes perfect sense why it's drying my hair quicker. Also, I don't know if you can tell the sound difference. I know you guys are really not gonna like the sound, but just bear with me. Versus this. See, this is quieter, but if I put it up to a higher speed, See, when I put it up to the highest setting, it's kind of matching this. So I wonder if this is maybe more heat, more power, and that's why it's getting my hair drier quicker. I honestly just feel as though this is a higher temperature and it's got more power coming out than the low setting on my Dyson. And my favorite thing about the Dyson is the fact that you can change the power and the temperature so that you don't cause damage and that you don't blow out your curls. There you have it. I think my hair is as dry as it's gonna get. I wouldn't like to try to dry it too much more with the hair dryers because then I think there's a risk of me kind of over drying it. I feel like I kind of got more volume on this side, but at the same time, my curls seem to be just a little bit puffier. I think it's the hair dryers that's making the difference because on this side, it seems like my curls or my ringlets and it feels like it's way more intact on this side. I think maybe because we dried it slower with the Dyson on the lower heat with less power. Whereas on this side, everything got blown out just a little bit more. I think the main difference is just gonna come down to how much control you want over the heat and the power. This definitely creates a lot of shortcuts for you you know it tells you what to do if you want extra special care what do you do if you want to use this precision nozzle whereas with this one it gives you the control but it just doesn't give you that little tip and I wouldn't have known to use the lowest heat and the lowest temperature with the diffuser unless a stylist hadn't told me I think this one is gonna be great if you just want you know no fuss you just want someone to tell you what to do and you go ahead and do it it's gonna work great for you whereas if you kind of know what you're doing a little bit more if you know hair and you want to have more control over over what you're doing and you want to be able to customize it more and really play around with it based on what you know then I think that this one would be better for you so I really hope that that was a helpful review I know that these products are pretty pricey and I know that if I was buying one right now I would want to know these things so I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video please thumbs it up if you did don't forget to leave a comment down below ask me any questions about the hair dryers that you want to know drop in any comments about any video suggestions or you know just let me know how you're doing because it's been a while since I've checked in with you guys and I'd really love to know and just chat with you guys also get me on Instagram that is everything from me I really hope that you're having an amazing day have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.